coming pretty much after the situation, a day after the situation with Vivi is happening, uh, or at least 12 hours after or so, uh, we have Ver Vermillion saying that they are going to be going on hiatus. It has been announced on Nidhi Sanji EN official. Notice of hiatus from Ver Vermillion. Thank you for your continued support of Nidhi Sanji EN. Starting from October 27th, 2024, Fervor Million will be going on an indefinite hiatus. This is just my rat here. Little bit of break for a rat rumor, whatever you want to call it. This might be anger over what's happening with Vivi, or it might just be him preparing for leaving himself as well. We don't know. He seems to be doing pretty well, so it's hard to tell. Focus on his studies and health. We'll just take, I mean, that's my rat ending rat here, ending rant here. Uh, Let's just take it, if you take it at face value, it's to focus on his studies and health. He will have his last stream on October 26th, where he will be releasing his third lore video and second outfit. Is that the message for his villains? I'll see you soon. I promise. Thank you always. Gamba Kaicho. Proud of you, Kaicho. Ver will still be active on X, joining collabs and any projects during the hiatus. So it is a streaming hiatus. It is a health-based hiatus, according to what they're saying. And also studying and other things that he has to do. So just taking it at face value, taking it at face value, that's what it is. But we know that a lot of these things end up becoming something more serious uh, if they see the grass is greener on the other side, but don't go bug them for answer. Uh, everyone in Nidhi Jian will fully support this decision and will be cheering him on and focusing on his personal growth. We hope you'll also continue to support him in his endeavors. Then you have over here, Flipsy can't wait for the one year hiatus into no stream graduation. Uh, villains are always by a catch side. Of course, if it is just a short break, moving on into something better, and you know coming back refreshed that is perfectly fine as well they don't all need to go into hiatus and graduate but it seems kind of sus right after the whole uh the whole thing that's happening again personal opinion personal opinion there and not backed by any evidence so far so personal opinion other than the fact that you know things have happened like that in the past with kunai and others uh finally the man takes a break hope he stays on break until this way's anniversary yes i was reading his post earlier today where everyone was discussing a potential future graduation it's lost in the comments but i saw someone say his tweets on his pl weren't the happiest so mental health break is a very good idea uh i forgot his pl can't say for certain i wish him well only 17 hours after the vv thing right after nazi vv's graduation whatever happened to the guilt tripping spiel they served michi i wonder so much for protecting their brand image so yeah they're going on and doing their things at this point they're too early to tell whether he's planning his way out like kunai did he does seem genuinely convinced that his failure is his own doing and not the company's let's hope he's taking a break will restore his self-worth and open his eyes to the reality of the workplace either way whether it becomes him leaving or it becomes him staying and being a better version of himself, I just hope the best for him. I'm going to break with what I usually do at, with, you know, no PL stuff, that kind of thing. In this case, because all these people have PLs, all these people have current lives, uh, whether it be Pomo, Selene, Nina, everybody, all these people here, they all have lives now that if you want to follow, you can. They've all left for different reasons. They've all been defeated, felt defeated after what Nidhi Sanji has done to them. And this is, I'm saying this stuff and I'm pointing these things out because of course, TTT is the only one right now that only has one person left after November 9th, which is when Vivi graduates. I'm doing this to break from tradition a bit. Of course, support Mogu Ghost, which is the PL of Vivi. This is a break from what I usually do because I'm just really angry at the situation that's going on. It's one of those things where it is a graduation because she felt defeated to the point where she felt that she could not stream anymore. It's not a new opportunity. It's not wanting to do new things. It's not you know, creative differences. It's not doing everything that you can in a company. And then there's no more that you can do because of rules, etc. that happen, you know, in Hollow Life and other places. This is someone being torn down by the agency, by the fact that they have been denied so many things and they deserve at least some sort of justice in their next life, in their PL, in whatever they decide to do moving forward. And um, this is, of course, Mogul Ghost, who is on uh Twitter and also, you know, on Blue Sky, Mogul Ghost at Bsky dot social right there. Of course, go and support them there. Go and support them here, Mogul Ghost. And they already have 23k followers. They're probably gonna keep growing. Another thing here, uh Sunny gave some support and it says, I love this ghost girl, Mogul Ghost. You will always be one of my best friends. Thank you for always being there for mog champs that support her today. And that was of course when the situation happened. That was something that was a big support big support in things happening there. And um, of course, there are some people that are still suffering from this. And will, of course, I hope IPN knows who Mogul Ghost is. And I hope that anyone who is has a Kamiyoshi in, uh, in Vivi can follow them into their next phase of their 
choices that they make the next phase of creation content creation uh it is painful to lose that and that's why i'm giving everyone who follows vivi a bit of a you know bit of a bone here throwing them a bit of a bone here in order to follow their kami oshi wherever they go from now on minato aqua who recently had left hollow life for her own reasons seems to be making a comeback you can tell the favorite onion is right there and of course she is writing something out here which basically says and and basically just making an announcement she's making a new style which is of course on her jean chan nanoda which is her pl uh she's going to be having a new vtuber pop out which is what a lot of people do she wanted to give herself a break 100 100 sense and i fully backed her when she decided to do that and it is great for people looking forward to the new things hope she finishes signing all the goods why are y'all posting pictures of onions on a vtuber sub onion seems delicious and decided to share for anyone wondering of course this is a gamer onion it's gao senseis uh this does seem like it to me too but can't be sure yet i'm right assuming this is a certain former maid it's very true yes At this point it'll be easier to name former corporate vtubers whose artist parents didn't create their new indie persona gao appears to be joining a long list including limited to guchiko yaman Saine, Yasuyuki, Ra Raijunara, uh, Kamamesi, Kamamesi Gogo, and many, many, many before them. I hope that one day soon, Ayami will also be on the list of artists who are, you know, doing things for people who they used to do for the, the bigger agency. Heart Ghost, having flashbacks for some reason. Strange flashbacks to some strange gamer maid going on there, of course. Who dis did stream Twitch or YouTube? Certain former Onion. I don't have so much of an issue when they're gone to say who they were and who they are now. Because there are some people out there who may not know that this person is that former person there. They are no longer a part of that agency. So now that kind of the stigma of, oh my God, you are interfering with their current work they don't have current work with that agency so that kind of goes out the window in my mind so yeah go and support them if you were a gamer made onion fan as i was go and support them and you know give them lots of love. doki bird has come out with a halloween voice pack the first situation voice pack is now up for sale trick or treat so this is again doki bird will you invite me into your home every purchase comes with the wallpaper voice packs will stay on the store forever so it's not a limited voice pack you can get at any point in time as a bonus here's an outfit concept for both the members voice and pack wallpaper that's very cool that's actually very cool one's a witch one's like a vampire very well done very well drawn and here you go five us dollars for the halloween voice pack it is actually very affordable holy crap and an audio sample let's see if we can sample this for you guys right here live on here knock knock hey did you forget we're supposed to hang out together for halloween of course there you go so that is what you get that is a little audio sample from her actual place from her actual merch shop showing you what you get when you go for a doki bird voice pack she's putting her all into it good audio mixing good audio quality good microphone being used all that kind of fun stuff another random vtuber twitch ban vtuber elfin psyop is banned for showing a model on screen for only a few moments let's see what's going on here this is elfin psyop here a government psyop in your very own computer federal agent vtuber it looks like it's an elf vtuber as well with a uh petite body type guys wtf i got banned on twitch for no effing reason i'm so confused i said and did nothing i just had another vtuber model up for jokes wtf only thing i showed it was a joke at twitch i did nothing wrong uh can you please not ban people for jokes i barely showed this model for two minutes and i was about to play horror games you know i get my income from this channel right i don't have a freaking job to uh freaking do around with man to freak around with do you have a kick it's itself and psyop as well yeah twitch 100 sacked you for this can't technically show hips anymore apparently what kind of ban is this permanent damn too hot into the dungeon you go damn you forgot to pull asset yeah if you had done it in pools hot tubs and streams and whatever at least for the time that you were doing that then it would have been fine this apparently is not good for twitch this apparently remember hips have to be covered if she wore like those those, those shorter shorts that i've seen some people wear that cover maybe up to several inches of the hips i think that would have been much better i think that would not have gotten them into trouble and um it's just a weird thing that i guess is only for vtubers nowadays but they're taking things in, in stride they said i'm gonna migrate to youtube if twitch has a fear of 2d hips so be it boo pixel booty boo and it's up and sign up on youtube.com youtube streams and uh it's like so lame yeah people are just like taking it's like it's it's not it's not a, a good move uh twitch can suck my redacted I, I'm back. I'm still here forever. I will always come back. Streaming on YouTube, Kick, and Twitter. Link in replies. In 30 minutes, let's hang out and make fun on Twitch. Make fun of Twitch. And there they go. All the ones there, they're having fun. And they're doing, they just, instead of letting it get them down, they decided to move to a different platform, which I know a lot of YouTubers can, can and can't do. There's some that can. There's some that can't because they already have a platform that is huge. Like, for example, Fifi, if this were to happen to them again, 
and they were to get permanently banned, it'd be hard to move from that to, let's say, YouTube because they don't have as big a platform on YouTube as they do Twitch. So let's hope that things go well for them as uh, Elf and Psyop and anyone else who gets banned for showing a little bit of hips. Japan Expo, which is an expo in France, I believe it was in Paris, France, uh, found out that some VTuber companies could bring more hype and revenue than the last year VTuber company guest. Last year's guest was, of course, Nidhi Sanji. Interesting development. Japan Expo was so happy with how Hololive booth turned out that they sent some of their staff directly to Japan for an extended debrief with cover. Here you have here. This week's stream report, they will discuss directly with Hololive in Japan for a debriefing. In any case, many positive points seem to have been drawn from it. We all hope to see Hololive again next year. And it says right here, uh, I can't read. I, I, I don't understand French. I'm sorry. Um, but that's what they did. They went for an extra debrief to actual Hololive headquarters, or at least some place with Hololive, in order to get that extra little debrief with them, which is awesome. Also, we're noting that the Nidhi Sanji panel had issues during Japan Expo 2023. To be more specific, Vox was late and appeared in the panel late and was a no-show for the panel. Ike was a no-show for the panel, leading to both of them apologizing for it. I remember when Japan Expo announced that Hololive would finally be having an appearance in Japan Expo 2024 as a booth. Many people had some theories that their experiences with Nidhi Sanji wasn't all too great and the reception wasn't as great as they had hoped. The snapshot in time from this is insanely funny. First guy didn't know the event was happening because looks like they didn't advertise a lot for it. Second guy is calling out management, I think. Third guy too. And fourth talks about shadow bands. So this is like, yeah. Only managers were S at their job. They could have made sure everyone knew what was happening. They'll either announce a break or it'll be radio silent and suspended for uh, any the normal any color procedure. The situation really gives me a bad first impression. I, I'm not surprised. How did they even F that up? I don't know. No offense to Selene or Rosemi for their appearance there before, but funny despite how picky and even despite VTuber streamer as guest in Japan Expo before, they finally found out that the fans Venn diagram was a circle. There was a cultural separation between the fans of the two brands. The Sanji is more catered towards streamer culture, while Hololive is more weaves otaku culture. And that is intentional. Hololive has intentionally made it as Yago himself has said, they want to cultivate the fan base. They want to cultivate the connection between the fans and the streamer, the fans and the liver, the fans and the VTuber. They don't want it to be like Nidhi Sanji, where you're just a wallet to them that is being pay that is paying their streamers for doing what they regularly do. Of course, Hololive wants your wallets open like any big corporation and wants you to pay for stuff like Super Chats and merch and things like that. But they seem to be going above and beyond compared to Nidhi Sanji for making sure that you feel a part of a community, that you feel like you're a part of something and that you're a part of something bigger. That is something that Hololive has been doing very well and Nidhi Sanji has not been doing so well. Hololive, time to be a good company. Also, Hololive, I can't stop winning. I can't stop winning. That is where I'm going to leave it. Takanashi Kiara, the wonderful bright phoenix in Hololive Ian Myth is having an Aseto Corsa uh, tournament with other Hololive Ian members. You have Seresfana, KITT, Kirin Industry 3000, you have Koseki Biju, the Zoomer, Narissa Ravencroft, say my name, it's on the speeding ticket. You have ERB, ERB fully loaded, GGEZ for GG Marine, Auto Band for uh, Cecilia, who actually has the German. Uh, SLR, I believe. I think it's a it's a, it's a uh, Mercedes SLR. I think. Then you have Big Cat means Big Car for Raora. Takanashi Kiara has the no speed limit. You have Moo Mobile for Mume. You have Wa. We are High Eye for Inanis. You have Ina. You have RRR Road and Rat Racing uh, for Moko. I'm not a safe driver. I'm Fuwawa. I'm not Fuwawa. I'm in danger. <laughs> 89 miles per hour for. Crony. The effing names. Oh my god, it's so punny. Natural references for Cecilia Autobahn. Autobahn, she can't drive. No wonder why Liz denied her truck or any vehicle for that matter. You have uh, the cars here. Aston Martin V8 Vantage for Narissa and Elizabeth. BMW M4 GT3 for Crony and Kiara. Honda NSX GT3 for Fuomoko. Nidisanji, yeah, Nidisanji. Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 2018. Mume. Uh, Ferrari 488 GT3 2018. Bibu and Ina. Lamborghini Huracan. The Huracan. Evo GT3. 2019 for Fana and Raura, Porsche 911 2 GT3 R 2019 uh, for Gigi and Bay. Life for the race, and I am the blank. There you go. I'm not going to say that. My blind at a red as wa as we are halal. <laughs> um, course, Raura picked something from Automobile Lamborghini. Uh, gotta represent CC with the Mercedes AMG GT. Uh, 
Great names overall. Special shout out to Do You. Do you know the speed limit? And I'm in danger. That's hilarious. Um, the crony reference. It's a multi multiple layer joke. I didn't get it at first until I read this. 88 miles per hour is back to the future references. 89 miles per hour were, when converted to KPH is 143. A pi number, 3.14. Kind of mixed in there. Corny's birthday is the same day as Pi Day, which is March 14th, aka 14.3. So yeah, she mixed all those things in. That's actually, that's a lot. That's a lot to mix in. But it's a fun time for um, for Aceto Corsa. And of course, for Takanashi Kiara having some fun with other people. I think I remember last night, uh, Iris was also just because of the whole thing, getting into Aceto Corsa herself, or at least trying to. And trying to learn the whole ropes. So it's going to be a fun one for everybody. And it's it's worth watching. In a bit of Hololive news. We have a rule change for the 2024 Hololive Koshi. And the one in red. Has been implemented where reset limits have been removed. There were limits put on how many times you can reset a character. Reset your, your drawing of the character. Like which character you drew. Because you know you didn't want people to just freaking draw a thousand times. And then in order to get their best character. But the context happened here. Hakui Koyori pulled two strongest players in her first year of Akon 9 mode. A genius player and an obi player named Sho otani shohei yes this it's they play shohei otani plays for la dodgers uh viewers are worried that koyori's team might win hololive koshi in 2024 so she decided to remove the reset limit so that ichijo ririka amere kanata and azuki can have a chance at getting strong players in their akon 9 campaign that is very nice of her that is very very cool of her to do and this is the one that they're talking about this is the stuff that she was doing they're drawing players they're you know looking at the stats looking at how their teams are going to be set up, you know, who's going to be who and all that kind of stuff. And she has had some really strong players. As you can see, the top two players there are in like almost like right there, like almost finished. So she wants it to be fair with everyone else. So here it goes. Coyote's putting it out there. There is one rule change. which decided to make the number of rerolls unlimited when starting eight at nine. This is to ensure that you have a good start with a happy team. Please support them and start the managers as chosen. The manager who has done the latest rerolls will be given a baseball themed snack as a good luck reward and an award for more details look at the tree down there Cody continues in saying this is the first time we've used hollow a so we decided to make changes as a trial we've also confirmed this with the directors in fact up until the day before the announcement i was debating whether to draft a reincarnated player or a regional player however if a reincarnated player is selected the starting year would need to be changed and the reincarnation for the second and third years would also be fixed so we're prioritizing starting in 2024 reroll unlimited is a middle ground getting the reincarnated player you're aiming for at the start of 2024 is like getting an ultra rare in an unlimited gotcha so it's going to be difficult to achieve your goal even with an unlimited reroll of course especially if you have bad luck with gotcha please respect the start times decided by the coaches so yeah it's really good that they did this like it says it makes sure that one side isn't overly benefiting from what they got from the role that they got it makes sure that that side isn't absolutely benefiting from that out of just nowhere you know what i mean so that's good i like that. anime frontier texas announces that fuawa abiscard is the fluffy one and moko abiscard is the fuzzy one they're all gonna be there for moko ien at anime frontier 2024 badges available here specifically and uh c4 moko abiscard and moko abiscard at anime frontier at a hololive meet it's like a meet and greet. Awesome can go to it and visit family in the area too. So that's an advantage if you have people that you know in Texas. 10,000% going there. Can't miss a chance to see Fomoko in my state. Anime Frontier is, uh, badges are on sale now. Grab badges at DFW's most ruckus anime party. The Dallas Fort Worth. That's what DFW is. Def DFW is F Dallas Fort Worth in Texas. And remember, Texas is huge. So you could be like, you could be in the wrong side of Texas. And it'll take you like five hours to get to the other side of Texas where you're supposed to be at. Or even longer. And here we go. The badges over here. Get your anime badges. December 6th through 8th in Fort Worth, Texas for Anime Frontier. Anime Frontier is powered by Crunchyroll for three days of exciting anime exhibits, exclusive premieres, show-stopping special events, featuring some of the biggest guests and anime manga, as well as leading publishers in rare appearances in Texas. Uh, new for 2024, become a friend of Ruckus with their new premium AF badge, Anime Frontier badge, get all the perks, get a Ruckus plushie, first access to the show floor, guaranteed access to all main stage panels, 10% off the Anime Frontier merch store, and 2024 Anime Frontier lanyards. Pretty much what most Premier fans slash uh, premiums offer. They usually offer guaranteed in to any uh, meet and greets and panels as long as you show up like 10 or 15 minutes before you should get in that's what happens at anime expo which is one that i've gone to in the past haven't gone to recently because it's expensive as a heck the uh the pricing for the af badge 159 which is affordable compared to other ones like for example anime expo at this point i think it's something like i think it's something like 600 six or seven hundred for the premiere fan pass for that one so this is very affordable three-day badge for 69 bucks is very affordable because like another anime expo one is like 60 bucks each 
every day, each day type of thing. So it's very affordable compared to others. Finalizing the update, I think this one will be probably one of the few finalized updates of Alicia X Life. If you remember in the past, she is the one who um, had her accounts taken by a crypto hacker and was just basically, she was told she had to wait seven to 14 days to get it back. And right now she says the hacker's email is officially removed from my channel. YouTube and team YouTube, please reinstate my account so I can have my job back. Currently my accounts are still shut down on your end and just needs to be approved. Have me back on both Alicia X Life and Alicia X Death. Hope you get your, your channels back soon. This was 5.23 a.m. on October 24th. Later on, about seven hours later, she says, are you kidding me? I got hacked. You acknowledged and got hijacked. You're reinstating one of my channels, which I think was Alicia X Death, but my other one you declined for scamming. Hello, they're both hacked under the same email. I filed for both accounts the same way is beyond ridiculous you said not not to contact you and to go through support but the support said to contact you at twitter if there are any further issues so hello buddy why are you hacker why are hackers allowed to ruin my life my job my in main income this is just bs of course takahata is saying guys come on it's unacceptable to do this to someone who was hacked uh ren a lot of big people are saying what the heck this is just wrong hello you aren't done you don't send me a completion survey you didn't reinstate my channels i still have one removed i just want my alicia x life channel back she had alicia x death but she posted on today. She posted on here. Addressing misinformation and the hijacking. I'm exhausted. This video covers every thunder art by Rugu's draw. My prayers are going out to you. Of course, a lot of people are saying, you know, hoping that thing fixed. This is uh just really, really, really weird. Like basically the same thing that I, that was mentioned before about it not coming back. Here's Alicia X death, the one that they got back and the video here where they mention everything. So they got at least one of their channels back. That is at least some income happening here. So far, it's been reaching good amount of views for two hours. About 7K views is good uh, for her size. Of course, the algorithm has to relearn everything because she's been kicked out of it for being removed, from what I know. The algorithm has to relearn everything, so right now she's not getting nearly the views that she would have did before. But I hope that it helps, and I hope that she is able to recover the other one and do well. The Whale covered uh, Voracity, Overlord 3 OP with Miori Celesta and Shiki Miyoshino. And over here, you have, of course, the, the place where it shows. My ears are blessed. Thank you. Woo, it sounds amazing. Um, and here we're going to have a little bit of a taste of it because I like giving you guys a little bit of it. Oh, that's the favorite one of mine. Yes. So, yeah, that was good. That's good. Hopefully... I don't get copyright struck for that one, but let's go. Um, she, she did it there. It says, yo, about to VTuber. Why am I credited as one who did the instrumental? This is literally the first time I've ever heard of this project. I think I'm pretty good, but I'm not that good at making music like this. I'm not looking forward to seeing the credit for it. By the way, oops, I don't know why I have you credited. We'll fix it now. And then, you know, it just, it just continues that because um, it is normal for mistakes like that to happen. Bao is a human being after all. A human being slash whale slash, you know, squirty, squirty girl. Um, Because I just say that because she has the blowhole that you, you can make. You, it, it can blow, you know, stuff out of it. If you that's a toggle that she has. That's what I mean by that. So just letting you guys know she did that, which is awesome. I do love that intro. Overlord 3 intro. And uh. Of course, she made it a little bit, little bit of a boo-boo, but she fixed it. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, a place where I like to showcase VTubers of all sizes. And, of course, trying to give back to the community, trying to be a positive force out there. You know, uh, there's a ton of drama and other stuff that happens in the world, but at least trying to bring some positivity there for VTubers and the VTuber community as a whole, because it has helped me out. To become what I am today. Kitsune, Gremlin Arc, socially anxious but chaotic VTuber, uh, YouTube partner, Twitch partner, Game of Subs partner. Let's take a look at the at, about page. Two tailed, socially anxious but chaotic Kitsune VTuber. Energy drinks are my fuel, post cringe content, and here you have all their stuff with Uwe Market and other things like that. Uh, currently using a chibi model while my full model is being made. I should be able to debut my full model start of 2025. Variety streamer, I do reacts, chatting, art, gaming streams. That type of thing playing a variety of games right here they were playing stardew valley from what it looks like and of course let's look at some of the short videos that they have here hey, you trip it you motherfuckers <laughs> oh my stop why do you want this shit as Aragas? That's why they wanted it. That's exactly why they wanted it. You have to give them what they want, people. You have to give them exactly what they want, especially if they pay for it. <laughs> so there's that. And also we have, of course, their YouTube channel, which I always like to show when it comes to these things. YouTube channel is actually pretty big. Uh, I did not know it was this big, but here we go. They are talking about, um, you know, drama, other things that pop up here, reactions to 
different videos, reactions to different things here, just kind of giving you a little feel of what they have. And of course, I hope this helps you grow. And thank you so much for allowing me to put you on the VTuber Showcase. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.